Hello, I'm John Turmel, King of the Paupers, working 30 years to try and set the debt slaves free. Now, if you Google for losingest politician, I come up. I'm running 68 elections trying to get interest-free credit cards for the poor. But also, if you Google for great Canadian gambler, Taj professor, poker systems engineer, you find out I'm the best limit hold'em poker player in the world. Also, the losingest politician. Well, I have more favorite names that I've been called. I've been called anti-poverty engineer, Atlas who didn't shrug, if you Google, Spartacus at Babylon, the real Spartacus in Rome went after Rome's army. I would have gone after Rome's creditors in Babylon. You can get me if you Google for Prime Minister of the Planet, King of the Fringe, Richest Pauper. And it's with the Richest Pauper that I decided to write to Bill Gates, the world's richest man. Because in the year that I got into the Guinness Book of Records, 1997, Bill Gates was in there too. So, here is the Richest Pauper's prayer to the world's richest man. October 15th to World Richest Man Bill Gates from World Richest Popper John Turmel. Hello Bill Gates, World Richest Man, a Guinness claim to fame. I'm John Turmel, World Richest Popper. Politics, my game. The Arizona Republic called me the World Richest Popper. The engineer, the gambler, 48 elections clear in 1999 as abolitionist, let's banking systems engineer. Blackjack King, Casino Tsar, Robin Hood, Millionaire, Guerrilla Lawyer, Best Bank Fighter Extraordinaire. The Great Canadian Character Anthology says best the motive for my pauper's 20-year, now 30, persistent quest. As Dr. Walter Schneider, math of gambling prof, can swear, he went from apolitical to running everywhere. One day his interest in interest existed not. Next day its abolition was his motivating thought. The poppers seen some high school buddies choose to quit the game. You two the man have buddies I would bet checked out the same. No loan shark, richest man, earned gains were making tools I use, Microsoft. You should concur with Richest Popper's engineering views. In Nehemiah 5, he says, you must do as we do. So stop exacting interest. It is the big taboo. St. Thomas 95 is verse where Jesus said it best. If you have money, do not lend it out at interest. Another great prophet, Muhammad, known in Muslim lands, decreed that it was sinful if one interest demands. No mortgage interest a native shouldered life with ease, but their death gamble poverty was fatal their disease. Ralph Nader's found the banks today unsafe at any speed, and has endorsed let's time dollar banks safe for every need. I penned some verses on how let's could end Queen's poverty, but palace staff were little help, no high tech whiz had she. Yet let's in British Parliament hears MPs voicing yes. No tax for trading time with neighbors, U.S. IRS. Australia says lifeboat lets cushions community. Great Britain's hails lets anti-poverty. Lets being the local employment trading system, software which lets you trade employment locally and now internationally. I've marched with Jubilee 2000, though they are ill-aimed. Forgiving poorest debt is alms, no panacea claimed. But White House, IMF, World Bank saw paupers placard best. That banks starve third world babies, so abolish interest. With interest switched off in bankers' debt machinery, those former chains of debt become mere straps born easily. So Pope, reformers, Jubilee 2000 date is near, yet Ecuador's not poor enough to qualify this year. Debt cancellation, Tobin tax, they're splashing in the pool. The problems in the money pump house, interest the tool. The vast solution takes all money errant pumps in hand. It's not a half vast splashing in the money pool that's planned. Relief could reach the whole wide world to ancient strife placate. Imagine Earth as Eden with no feedback causing hate. The Christians and the Muslims and the Nazis and the Jews are in agreement. Let's conforms to everybody's views. The richest man must also tire of a game gone mad. 
but you have power to switch off the feedback that is bad. An online let's by Microsoft to shop with hours we trade with global lifelines reaching all and money local made. We'd gladly pay our service charges, cash or green amounts, if you'll be veins and arteries to link our Let's accounts. Millennium, Let's Jubilee, give world-class gift you can, if you grant just pauper's prayer to the richest man. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, Christ taught us how to pray. So every day till year 2000, here is what I'll say. Our Father who in heaven art, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come when let's be done, on earth as heaven the same. Give us now our daily bread, forgive us all our debts, as we forgive our debtors all their debts with this new let's. And to temptation lead us not, no debt which suffocates. Let's Jubilee 2000 from our Santa Billy Gates. Amen with the engineers. P.S. 2008, nine years later. A decade's almost gone. Bill's opportunity was lost. For failure to use might, a billion, quarter billion souls the cost. Bill studied the inequity as business problems same. World's richest man's club 5%. Give peace of win and game. For Bill, social reform is rich, donating to the poor. It's just more of the same. It's alms. His riches are the lure. He could have been a hero to the starving masses, rare. Instead, his role has been a mere, no difference, billionaire. So, Argentina in 2001 went broke. And they did something. And five years later, they paid off all their IMF World Bank debt. You didn't hear about it, but it's out there. How did they do it? We wanted to. So, I announced... I was running not only in my 68th election in Guelph, Ontario this year, where I only got 40, 58 votes, 58 people who voted for an interest-free credit card, but I also announced that I was running for Prime Minister of the Planet. Everybody knows that. I ran for Mayor of Ottawa. I ran for Premier of Ontario in 1981 with my Social Credit Party. I ran for Prime Minister of Canada in 1993 with my Abolitionist Party. One candidate more than the Greens. And everybody knows that there's an election for Prime Minister of the Planet. Who's going to be the first candidate? Well, Google for Prime Minister of the Planet, and I'm the only name who comes up right now. But I'm also going to be participating in the two United States elections I was watching. The one with um, Barack Obama and uh, John McCain, and the one on the West Wing on TV, the big debate between Matt Santos and Arnold Vinick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to participate in those debates. I'm going to take them, chop them up, and throw in my answers on how using not the Bank of Canada's computer, but the U.S. Treasury's computer to issue interest-free credits to fix all the problems would help down there, too. And when it's all over, we can have an election on the Internet to see how many people would want to vote for John the Engineer or vote for the other candidates. So that's basically my plan for right now, and uh, stay tuned now for more information in part two.